Hey guys, just a quick video. I, I had a really cool experience this morning and I wanted to share it with you. A really cool uh, QRP contact. And uh, this will be a quick video. I know some of you, if you're a subscriber to the channel, are probably going, where's he been? I haven't seen him in a couple weeks. Yeah, I haven't put up any videos because um, I'm here in Poland working and, um, and I have been putting in seven days a week, 10 to 12 hour days. So it's been... Um, it's been pretty crazy, it really has. I haven't had a whole lot of time for radio, but I uh, got up this morning and um, conditions right now are just unbelievable. And on 20 meters, I had a uh, QRP uh, contact. It started out as a 20 watt contact, but I had a, from here in Poland, I, I had a contact and we took it all the way down to one watt. And that was uh, in Massachusetts, and I'm up in the north of Poland, in uh, Sloops, Poland. And uh, it was with uh, Alpha Alpha One Bravo Union, or uniform, and um, it was 3,873 miles, or uh, for you guys in metric, that's uh, 6,233 kilometers. And we did it with one watt, with a really good, I mean, good signal report, and uh, things sounded great. So I wanted to share that uh, quick QSO with you, and just show you what you can do with QRP, especially with what's going on right now with the solar cycle and, and, and the conditions. And they're only going to get better for the next couple of years. I mean, we're, we haven't reached the peak yet of solar cycle 25. So I want to show you that QSO. And then afterwards, I want to talk to you real quick and give you a channel update on what's going on here at Coastal Waves and Wires. So here you go. Thank you. Sugar Papa Stroke Kilo for Oscar Golf Oscar. Uh, QSL, QSL, the name here is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I'm in the north of Poland uh, near Gdansk, uh, just running 20 watts. Man, your signal is booming in here right now this morning, it's sounding very good. Okay, Walt, thank you very much. I see we had a contact on a 20 before. Uh, you're about a five and uh, about five and five with me at the moment. Uh, some QSP, but no problem. Good Q5 copy, Walt. Over. Hi, uh, QSL. QSL. Well, thanks for taking the call. I'm uh, kind of surprised I got through here. I just got a kind of a compromise. I got a little infed half wave running out the window here. Just a wire with this 20 watts. So conditions are amazing right now. I know the conditions are good. How much power are you running with that infed antenna, Walt? Over. Uh, just 20 watts. 20 watts. The condition the propagation is cooperative. Uh, it's amazing. You could probably reduce the power uh, considerably and still get out and hold over. Hi, uh, QSL, QSL. If you got a second, I'll take her down. Yeah, I think it's down. Let me see how, how, how low you can go before I lose you completely. Go ahead. Okay, that's 10 watts right there. 10 watts. Yeah, I still copying at 10 watts. So reduce it some more. Okay, there's five watts, five watts. I can still copy on five watts. So you probably can't go much lower than that, can you? Oh, I can go way down. I can go all the way. This uh, will take me down to one. I'll take it down to about two watts real quick. Okay, go ahead. Okay, two watts there, two watts. Okay, two watts, you're about a five and two. 52 with the five watts, Walt, over. Uh, QSL, let's go lower. Okay, that's as low as I can go. That's one watt, one watt. Yeah, I can still copy on the one watt, Walt. Uh, go over, over. Uh, QSL, QSL. I'll take it back up real quick and we'll close this out. Okay, back to 20 watts there, 20 watts. Thanks so much for doing that. That was a great experiment for me this morning. I enjoyed it. Yeah, that was propagation. It's good. It's just amazing. I'm not when uh, propagation was good on 75 meters was Walt uh, running uh, uh, a couple hundred milliwatts and I'm always amazed at uh, uh, what can happen when the propagation is cooperating. Well, take care. Have a good morning. Good weekend. Sugar Papa Stroke K4OZO. Hey, 1BU. Hey, thanks so much, Joe. Appreciate it. Have a great day and a wonderful weekend. All the best and good DX to you. 73, my friend. Yep, 73, Walt. Well, take care. Be well. Well, how cool was that, man? That was an exciting thing. I mean, um, I don't know too many people that uh, post videos about their uh, how excited they are about a 500 or 100 watt uh, uh, QSO they made. But to make one with one watt, that just shows you how cool QRP is. And if, you are, if, if you're thinking about getting into uh, QRP or, or, or trying it, uh, it, man, the 
fulfillment of that QSO, I mean, you're not going to go out there and make hundreds and whatever QSOs, but when you do make that one like I just did, man, it's really exciting and it's a fun thing to do. And uh, if you're if you're new to amateur radio, it, it, it can be a little tough. Yeah, I mean, you got to have a. Um, it's all about the antenna, and you really have to put some work into the antenna. Speaking of which, let's talk about the antenna I used. It was actually somewhat compromised, but a great antenna. I put an, an infed half wave like up at the top of the window where, where I have my uh, radio at here in uh, Poland, in the room I'm in. I'm up on the second floor, so I stuck it at the top of the window out the window with the wire and then the, with the wire over connected to a fence in the backyard or for my UK friends, the back garden. And, uh, and that was it. Really great antenna. It's built by my friend Tim N9SAB. I'll put a link here. I know I sound like a commercial for him, but uh, I buy my antennas from him. He's a super, super builder and they're so small and easy to travel with. I just like his stuff and um, I, I like to build my own ten antennas too. But his stuff's pretty, pretty affordable and like really lightweight and small and, and he puts a lot of detail into it. So great little antenna. I had a lot of fun with it. All right, I, I said earlier I wanted to give a channel update um, you know, earlier in the video. Look, I haven't made a video in a couple weeks and I'll tell you why and, and, and what I'm all about. I'm not the guy, I'm not, uh, I am a monetized YouTuber. Um, I, I do get a few bucks uh, every month from, my, from the commercials that run with my videos, but it's not a lot of money and I'm not asking for money. I, I've got a great job and, and, I, and I, I, I do well. This is just a hobby for me and a lot of fun. Um, so um, I'm not out there making a video every, um, you know, three days or whatever, and, uh, just about anything or everything, just to fill up uh, YouTube with uh, more ham radio videos that, and, 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 and just put one out there to make money. I don't do that. You know, what little bit, I get a little bit of change um, every month uh, for the advertisers of my video, and I usually buy wire. I mean, I reinvest it into my hobby and, and in a sense, to this channel. Uh, you know, maybe some coax wires, and every once in a while, you know, I'll put it with some more money and, and get a, uh, a, a another radio that I've been after or whatever. And as a matter of fact, any ra you won't see a lot of reviews. If you see me doing a review, it's because I bought a radio and, and I'm not going through the buttons and telling you how good or bad it is. I just want to test it. I get out, I get out, throw up an antenna and operate with it. That's kind of who I am and what I'm all about. So um, I guess what I'm doing is I'm asking you to please subscribe. I noticed that um, in the analytics of my videos, I have more people that are not subscribed watching my videos than are. And it's kind of puzzling. I, I don't know. But um, listen, I'm, I'm making a commitment to you. I'm not the guy that's going to just like drive you crazy with a video every three or four days. Um, reviewing things that you know that there's already 10 or 11 videos out there for I, i'm just gonna i'm learning I'm, I'm a u.s extra uh class operator but uh, as, as i go along i'm learning and documenting it i usually do a lot of research into an antenna or a rig or whatever before i put a video up about it but i, I really like to uh, do a deep dive and then do a video about it and sometimes i've even found that i'll go back to my to my older videos i'm like yeah, i can't remember how i did that and and check it out so i just like to document things and share and i hope that uh by sharing with you um, you can learn along with me. A lot of times you guys give me great advice or, or make some great comments to my videos. And, um, and, and I learn from you as well. You know, I, I love the ham radio uh, YouTube community. It, it really is wonderful. And it's a great thing. So if you can find it in your heart, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, the more subscribers I have, the more YouTube will uh, put these out there for more people to watch. And then, you know, a, a little bit more change will come my way. Maybe I'll buy some better radios and do some better videos with it. Who knows? But anyway, if you've got made it this far, thanks so much for watching. I hope you can sense my excitement with this uh, QSO I just made. And, um, and, and, and like I said, in the future, uh, if, you, if you haven't seen some of my other videos, it's what I do. I just uh, put up antennas and uh, build antennas and play with radios. A lot of low power stuff and a lot of QRP stuff because that's just, I love it. I love radio and I love the hobby. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Walt k 4 ogo 73 well, I could, you click that subscribe button.